blocking my shot. That was rude. Let's go have some fun. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Sierra and I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. I have a goal to get monetized by the end of the year. This is where we are right now. If you wouldn't mind helping out and subscribing, you are the best. If not, it's totally okay, no pressure. So today we are doing a thrifting video. I've never done one of these before, but I'm super excited. We are actually going to be thrifting fall 2020 trends. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, not much of a fashionista, but I am on on a mission to learn more about it and kind of get into it because I love fashion and I really want it to be a way to express myself. I went and did a bunch of research on 2020 fashion trends for this fall. I have a list of things that personally I would probably wear. Some of the things that I saw I thought were cute but like I couldn't practically wear them so I was like, uh, I'd rather just not buy them, you know? I have my list. I'm going to be looking for these specific things and hopefully I will find some. The shirt right here reminds me of like the 70s style pattern trend that's going on. It's not really my style, so I'm not gonna pick it up, but I thought this was really cute. It'll focus. Okay guys, so this is the smallest dressing room I've ever seen in my life, but we're making it work. I have everything that I found up here. I have like a crap ton of pants. I am determined to find a pair of pants today. Your girl's tall, your girl is thin. She never finds pants, but we're finding some today. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is the first thing that I tried on. Not loving it. This is a lot more open than I thought it was gonna be, so it's like immediate no-go, and the pants looked super comfortable. They have pockets, which is great, but we got a little bit of a high water going on. And um, it's a little too poofy. Basically parachute pants over here. So it's it's a no for both, sadly. Okay, so this is the next thing that I found. I like this shirt a lot, I like the color of it. Obviously I wouldn't just like wear it like this. This is something that I would tuck into the pants, put a little jacket over, I think would look a lot better. It was just kind of like a basic top that I saw that I wanted to try on. Pants, cute way too tight. I like how they like shoot out at the knee though. That's really cute, but your girl just found out she ain't a size two. Guys, these pants are so cute and they're long enough, but they're just like a smidgen too tight. I'm upset. For all my short people, I just want you to understand what it's like being tall and the things that we have to go through, okay? First of all, this. This is very uncomfortable. It's so, like, <laughs> can't dab properly, okay? It means it's a no-go. And the hair's falling. So this is kind of how I wanted to style this. Um, I think it's cute, but it's just a little too big because you can a lot of peepholes. I might pass on this one, but it's long enough. It's really silky and soft. It's actually a pajama shirt, <laughs> but I liked it, so. Sadly, I'm gonna pass. Literally everything doesn't work besides the just basic ass shirt. We failed at finding pants. <laughs> but this time it's not because they were long enough, it's because my booty's too big, so I'm fine with that one. <laughs> Okay, so I ended up shopping a little bit more in the guy section. I found actually a girl coat. Oh my gosh! Oh, there's a smudge. Ooh, that's shining. Oh no, maybe that's just the sun. Okay, anyway, so I ended up actually finding a girl coat in the guy section. Wasn't upset about it, actually purchased it. Found a trench coat and a leather jacket humongous okay 20 bucks for the leather jacket huge freaking man leather jacket 20 bucks trench coat 15. your girl got them deals today yeah i'm gonna shop a little bit more at a couple different places i'm gonna go home and try everything on this dressing room 
is more like it. So I actually just tried on these pair of khaki pants. They fit, surprisingly, and they're pretty much long enough. A little, little bit of high water action going on. I can't decide because I'm not sure if I like the color of them. I was kind of wanting like a little bit of a lighter pair of khakis, but we'll see. You guys, you guys. I'm trying to whisper because this is really awkward and there's somebody right there in the other stall. Sorry if you can see boogies. Oh, so I'm trying to whisper, but you <laughs> My ankle popped, ignore that. You guys, I love this shirt. Oh my God, oh my God. Like, so with this shirt, I could literally just like tie it in a knot or I could tuck it in. <laughs> I could tuck it in like that or, or I could wear a black tube top under this and just like unbutton it and let it flow. We are getting this. Flannel, men's flannels. Men's flannels, okay. This is amazing, hello. Hi, this is so comfortable. This is definitely like worn in. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's it's for sure used, but that's what makes it more comfy, you know? And this, I'm falling. This is so freaking cute. It has the freaking 80s vibe to it, okay. There's this vibe that I keep seeing on Instagram that I freaking love. So I'll put a little picture of it, and this just matches it perfectly. Like if you undo the little tie that I did, it goes down really, really low, and you unbutton. Tube top. I am just cozy and comfy. Hello. We buying, we getting, we purchasing. I don't know how I feel. Is it comf? Yes, it's comf. I don't know if the colors are really my vibe. Last piece of the day, I put my shirt back on. So if you guys don't know, cropped blazers are really in right now. I love the little fur detail up here on the collar, super cute. Shoulder pads. Your girl already has super broad shoulders, okay? She don't need no help. <laughs> Honestly, I would just buy this and take the shoulder pads out, but if you can, look how short this is, okay, 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 that ain't cute, that ain't cute, that, don't, that ain't comfortable, and that's what we about this season is comfort, and that, excuse me, I'm trying to film, and that is not performing for this comp season, so... This is really cute. I freaking love the vibe, but I gotta pass. So my tripod just broke and I'm having the hardest time with this because I'm so gosh darn tall and this room is not big enough. But here's the first outfit. I'm sorry, it's a complete trash can in here. We can be trash together. Okay, so this is the first outfit. Obviously, the thrifted item is the flannel. I took inspo from this picture right here. Obviously, I showed you guys that a little earlier. I got these jeans from American Eagle. They're just some light wash mom jeans that are like super holy and cut out. Uh, I got some black boots that I got from Walmart. And then, obviously, the flannel is from uh, Goodwill. I didn't have a tube top, which I was super upset about, but I did have this shirt. It's like a crop little high neck, so I just thought that would work. Also, I'm pairing it with some jewelry just to like boost it up a little bit okay so I have a big mix of different types of outfits in this look just because I am trying to figure out what style I like best so this style is very grungy and chill definitely one of those like bad girl on the block situations which I am not so much of a bad girl but I kind of like the style so I wanted to try it I could also wear this kind of like just down like this. Depending on what look you really want to go for, if you put your hair up, just have a whole nother I don't care look. But yeah, so and then you can just have a messy bun on top of your head and you chill. This outfit, I am going to rate it like an eight out of 10. I really like the vibe. I love the oversized flannel. Okay, so I just took a picture of my outfit. I'm gonna have my boyfriend Chase rate my looks from one to 10. Okay, y'all. I decided I wanted to dress it up a little bit, trying to get those like 
back to school vibes, you know. I don't know if you can see. I paired these with some boots. I have this leather skirt that's a little too tight for me now, if I'm honest. Pretty sure I thrifted this shirt too. Also got my little Oka shoulder bag because I hate purses. I love a style of purses, just cannot wear them for some reason. Oh, uh, then you know I got my little coffee, so I look like oh. And then if you put the glasses on, you get such like teacher slash schoolgirl vibes. I was like, oh, I'm running late. So if it was a little colder out, you could put like leggings or tights or something underneath the skirt just to keep you warm. And then you can also layer this with like another big chunky jacket. It, oh, hold on. Speaking of big chunky black jackets, we just thrifted one. And it's leather to match the skirt. So if you wanted to layer even more, you could get a big chunky black jacket like this one. Honestly, this is super cute because it matches the skirt so well. And then you still have like that little bit of separation. That way it's not like leather on leather, you know, you can still see everything. But yes, I like this outfit. But overall, I think probably a seven out of 10, eight out of 10, I don't know, seven and a half. We'll go seven and a half out of 10 because I like this, but this isn't super practical to keep me warm and cozy because of the skirt. So I'm gonna deduct a few points. But like I said, you could just layer it and then put the tights on and then maybe it would be better. Okay guys, so this is the next outfit. I thrifted this little jacket. It has shoulder pads, which I'm obviously not a huge fan of, but I'm planning on taking this out. Honestly, this is much more like my vibe. It's very much so something that would keep me warm. So I'm just pairing this with a white crop top. I got this from Forever 21, I'm pretty sure, as well as some just gold chains. Chunky gold chains are actually another trend right now, so just wanted to pair that together. I also have this gold belt which I think looks pretty cute with it if I do say so myself. I have my little boots. I don't know if you can see that against the black couch. Oh, yeah, so I rate this outfit probably a 9 out of 10. This is much more like what I lean towards style-wise. I like like a casual slash dressy situation. So it got super cloudy and started raining, so I'm sorry if it's like a lot darker in here, but this is the last outfit. Things that I thrifted was the trench coat as well as this nude top. Having like all of one color of an outfit is really in right now. I don't have any khaki pants. As you guys saw, I was trying to find some, but I couldn't. So I just paired them with these white pants. I also have these darker brown boots with them. But yeah, so the two ways that I feel like you could wear this is with the trench coat, especially if you're cold. Um, this outfit is so freaking comfortable, might I add, oh my gosh, like I'm so snuggly and warm right now. And then the second way is without the trench coat, especially if it gets a little hotter outside. Um, I burnt myself ironing. This is the other way that I would wear it, just kind of like tucked in a little bit so it has a little more of a cutesy vibe. And this would be if it's a little hotter out. Okay, this is the last outfit. One way is with the trench coat. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely leave me a comment down below telling me what outfit your favorite was. I think this is the best for just like a cozy, chill day, but other stuff, different things. So just let me know what you guys think. Just to let you guys know, I post every single Thursday at 11 a.m. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.